Um, so, like everything in the life, basically, we're saying that finishing the instructor course is just the beginning of the way. Um, and then there is a few things to concentrate on. One of the things, of course, improving technical knowledge and the technical abilities, and the ability to deliver the techniques towards the students. Meaning, how make them to understand better, be more efficient, learn faster, use different exercises and drills, which practically learn from experience of other instructors um, that are more experienced in a way. So, mm -hmm. look at their classes, try to, in a good way, steal their ideas, steal their analogies, steal their um, way of correcting mistakes, and so on, and so on, and so on. Another aspect of teaching is, of course, the um, the teaching style itself, uh, which I mean is the, how you stand in front of the group, how mm -hmm. do you talk, uh, which words are you used, which the better sentences, what is the better way to explain things, which means things that are related to teaching, but they are many times out from the direct world of Krav Maga. Okay. So, for example, again, things like understanding the body language. Mm -hmm. Things like public speech, things like um, understanding the biomechanics of different things and exercises and people, uh, things that relate to sport and fitness. So if we ask from one, do a push-ups, which amount of push-ups should we give? We should not guess by you. We feel like let's do today 30 and tomorrow 40, but we understand that what we want to work on. What are types of different uh, push-ups, for example, or uh, or flexibility exercises? Or if one come to us and say, "Oh, I hurt here, and my muscle is painful here. How should I stretch it?" Not like uh, I'm not a fitness instructor. I don't do yoga. I have no idea what's going on. Mm -hmm. So again, basically understanding the anatomy and physiology of the body and how does that connect. It. Another aspect of it is a tactical aspect. Mm -hmm. Which again, how can we and how should we deal with uh, different situations in our life in a tactical elements and aspect? Meaning again, if you would like to give a money to someone that robbers with a little weapon like a knife or a pistol, so how to give the belongings? How to not to get to the situation? Everything we can think about pre fight. How should we spot a potential attacker, mm -hmm. a potential danger? So obvious things like if we walk on the street and we see uh, five, six people together and we see that they're a little bit drunk and they're already pushing each other or maybe even they started to push or, or uh, you know, bed talking to someone that was in front of us. So again, maybe we can understand that, okay, we're going to be the next one. Should we turn away and, and walk away? Should we cross the road? Mm -hmm. But basically being able to spot different things. That's one of the aspects of Krav Maga. Remember that in Krav Maga we have the pre-fight, mm -hmm. the fight, and the post-fight. And all of that, the instructor should be able to teach. Now, this is external knowledge that is majority of it out from the course. And that's why we are, should be able to progress by ourselves, read books, learn, uh, go to different lectures, of course, attend the instructor updates, attend the different camps, and basically make our knowledge be wider and wider and wider, not only in the technical aspect, but as well as tactical aspect, as well as teaching aspect, as well as physical aspect. Um, All together, that's what will make us a great instructor eventually. A great instructor is a forever student. Yes, definitely. Yes. Thank you so much. Definitely. Thank you very much.